Hello Galaxy Heroes, so uh, some of this is duplicated, uh, I didn't speed this bit up, bit up, but the rest of the fleet battles I believe are speeded up. So this is the Razor Crest being upgraded, sweary daughter. and this is that sweary daughter in the background, yes. Where's hey it? YouTube, it's been a while, how you been? Please answer. Answer her YouTube and let her know in comments how have you been. Yes. Yes. I look forward to hearing. She looks forward to hearing. So, yes. Okay, so where are we? So this is Thrawn. My Thrawn is Relic 7. And I believe I have double zated. Um, Houndstooth. So uh, Bosk is Relic 7. IG-2000, my IG-88 is also Relic 7. Uh, did that for the, um, the all the bonuses that IG-2000 brings to a uh, Separatist fleet. So, yeah, been having fun kind of running, running that for a while. Um, but... Uh, Got to be honest, this uh, Razor Crest does actually uh, does help brings an extra dimension. What really will be interesting. Sorry, I'm talk trying to talk over my sweary daughter screaming at the moment. Um, is what the new shiny uh, capital ship's going to bring, and what the mechanics of that. I really don't even want to know why I'm being what I'm hearing in the background <clears throat> so uh, I think a quick summary here is most of these are wins that I'm sharing there were some losses um, different configs are throwing up kind of different problems um, so the the negotiator that starts with uh y wing um yeah that was a bit annoying because of course i braced but so i would have rather have taken out one of the galactic republic ships that get the extra life buff um that yeah that any any other non-faction ships just don't seem to get but eh, it is what it is um you're seeing what the uh what the reinforcements are bringing in and whether or not they're making any differences um unfortunately going to whiz through the the rankings here but we go from the 40s into 30s and but there are some top 10s in there as well top 20s i mean chips kind of uh, neat well needed to be shaken up a bit I mean, we've we've gone with malevolence and negotiator now for what a year i'm liking getting yeah if you can get the stun there on uh anakin from the get-go just finding that very very useful and then marking like that does mean that you stand a, a chance of getting rid of anakin early on and as other tubers and that have demonstrated getting rid early or early doors is kind of paramount to any kind of chance of victory victoire i'm loving that double hit there as well and it's then it's a case of just kind of what's coming out and are you ready for it to, yeah, using the goodie bag at the right times and not playing into the reinforcements, cleansing of a plow or whatever. But even that, I mean, it's still, you know, we've got the bag of tricks in our box as well that, that we've got the, the Thrawn Ultimate that will come into play at some point hopefully he says I understand how many times we're hitting this ship and nothing's happening but then I suppose that's just 
Boss Cowns too thin a nutshell, isn't it? So who are we bringing out here? Oh, Evan Hawke. Oh, more murder going on in the other room. Her bum finger? Yes. I don't want to really know any more about that. My daughters are having fun with their bum fingers, apparently. Who knows? Maybe I have to... Oh, God. Does that mean that I need to censor this or whatever? Eh, we'll find out. Okay. So, where are we? Um... I'm lost. We're trying to kill ships. That's what we're doing. Yes, there we are. Back on target. We drifted there for a bit. Okay, this one doesn't look like we're going to get very far or much further. No, we didn't. We lost. Um, so now we're going in. Oh, right. Just for a change. Change of scenery, we're going to take on a malevolence fleet instead. Um, slightly different one because this one has the uh, the Thai bomber in it as well. So we've now got a uh, hyena bomber. Hyena bomber is now locked in with that whatever it is shuttlecock thing on the, on the side sideways on I don't know why I targeted I think I just wanted to get hound's tooth whittled down a bit but that's not going to happen here is it Getting some big hits coming out though. So now, as far as I'm aware, all we've got to do is take out Hound's Tooth. Um, unless there is another reinforcement that's going to come in, uh, we should be golden. He says, should be. Big bada boom. Oh no. There we are. Thankfully, I. I had remembered which one to take out there. So now back to basically what you're facing. Um, seems to be negotiators to climb and... Uh, sorry, no, let me get that the right way around. Seems to be malevolences to, to climb and negotiators to kind of... <coughs> Manage the free fall. There we are. Because the free fall can be quite severe. I'm loving that double tap. I mean, that really is destructive. And unless you're going against a hound's tooth. And even then, look at that. All the protection gone. I don't know why we put it back there, but we did. Are we just going to take him out? I mean that is that is a thing of beauty. Just uh, taking them out, quite quickly. Uh, well, he says that two minutes thirty on here, but yeah, of course it is speeded up. But now, what happens here? Was interested to see how that mechanic would work because. Obviously, they've got the safeguard thing that they're going to die, but not die. It does become annoying. I, mean, I suppose, you know, the Night Sisters just saw the kind of the main dead, not dead, undead, keep going malarkey, saw the beginning of which, and um, I really have gone off track but let's keep going so just thinking put breach on two should keep things interesting got the lock in there um 
no cleanse so we can now hammer out and get rid of Annie can we no we can't yet I'm going to bring in gauntlet do a cleanse so that assists can happen again so Annie should and does go yeah yeah um all in all am enjoying having an option being able to run a different capital ship to be honest rather than well, i suppose we've had that option up till now that you can you you can uh you can try rebels you can try uh, the radish against malevolence or whatever so no it's nice having another chip option um I suppose implications wise in GAC it means that you could deploy your own negotiator knowing that you've got a comp or two to take out anything else. Okay, that's the uh, going to be another big question I suppose is what on earth are we going to be putting into our defences here for GAC now that well we're, we're on the fringe of um so we're getting rid of the buffs here are we yeah o of having as i say i keep going on about it but apparently there's a new capital ship coming it's gonna have new mechanics or awesome mechanics that we haven't seen before so uh yeah how much is that gonna change the landscape of top tens or haves haves nots do not know at this time. Um, this one's going down to the wire, isn't it? So we've got 19 seconds. Oh, is this the first? So apologies. There you go. 10 seconds remaining. There's the win. That's me done. Thank you very much for listening to me waffle. Have great days.